One of the most important precautions you can take during hurricane season is to protect your home. Whether you live in an evacuation zone or not, a good way to keep your belongings safe is having protected coverings on windows, doors, and garage doors. For other important information about hurricane preparedness, visit WMNF.org. Did you just take your teeth out? Welcome to Live Music Showcase here on 88.5 WMNF Tampa. I'm your host, Ken Apperson. We are live in studio today with Someday Honey. How y'all doing today? Fantastic. I'm so excited to have y'all on the show, especially getting to hear you perform during, like, while you were rehearsing, while you guys were sound checking and everything. I'm like, yes, harmony. <laughs> oh my God. I'm a big sucker and a nerd for harmony. So I'm so excited about this episode. If you are listening right now and you want to see the show, you can watch the show in live stream form on. WMNF uh, on Facebook at WMNF's Live Music Showcase or on YouTube. Just search WMNF. You will find us. What is your first song going to be today? Uh, it's going to be Someday Honey. I love it. Yeah. Take it away. All right, let's do it. I'm going to need you to count me in. I'm just it's early. Two, three,
with another man's words It's the way that the sun This is the good life that I'm living Live music showcase here on 88.5 Sunday Honey here in studio with us um, you, have a, you have a song named Sunday Honey And the band is named Sunday Honey Which came first, the song or the band name? The song came first I had a feeling I had a feeling, or it was, uh, or it was the uh, the egg. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's always the egg. It's always, it's the, always egg. the egg. By the way, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That's true. That's a fair <laughs> point. Mm-hmm. Uh, so okay, so was it a situation where you were like, well, we just love this song so much that we're just going to name the band after the song? Uh, it was Matt's idea. It was yeah. Matt's idea. Yeah, yeah. It she was, was playing th- uh, through some of her old material. Yeah. And it hit the Sunday honey. I was like, well, let's all stop for one <laughs> second. That was good. I love it. Is yeah. there a comma between Sunday and honey? Only if we are uh, having conversation. Yeah. Uh, Poster-wise, that could get confusing. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a thing until you put words around mm-hmm. it, and then we'll put the, the proper comma where it goes. Someday, honey. Or like yeah. three dots. You know, it's like someday... Honey? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, you know? Put a little ampersand in there or something. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know. Uh, Someday Honey is a, uh, what I would I would call you guys a, a Tampa Bay area, uh, one of the staple bands, one of the one of the bands that like, when people want to get a good feel for what the what the music scene is like here, go to a Sunday Honey show, in my opinion. Are you kidding? No, I mean that because oh, honestly, heart, <laughs> truth be told, and I, I almost shouldn't even say this because it's embarrassing for me. But when I first came on this show, I came on this station, and Sam, who's on drums today, was my first ever guest, ever. That, he was my very first guest as the host of this show. And it was back during, it was in 2021, it was midway through 2021, the station was still doing, uh, you know, the, uh, the COVID lockdown protocol, so we couldn't have everybody in this big studio, so it was just me. Right. And Sam, yeah, Sam was running wild in Studio One. Really? Yeah. And I, I had like brought my little mixing console from home. I don't think Mark and I had even met at that point, uh, except for maybe like in person at one of my gigs. He came out to one of my gigs. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it was such a for me, Sam. I don't know if you know this. I was terrified. <laughs> oh, I was. I was too. so nervous. Because I didn't want to do a bad job. I wanted to go do a good job. But all of that to say, um, they, they had kind of a, a roster of people kind of lined up for the next couple of weeks. And I knew Sam was on there. And I think I think you weren't on there or you were on there. I don't know. And uh, maybe it wasn't confirmed yet or something. But I was so embarrassed because, like, I had heard Someday Honey. I hadn't heard your name yet, Kaylee. And then I did. And I was like, oh. I really screwed that up. I should have like followed through and made sure she was booked on that show. Because this is the first time I've had you in here uh, as the host. And uh, after that first song, I'm like, okay, that's good. That's good. That's uh, That just set the bar that much higher for every band that comes on the show now. After I told you I'm a big sucker for harmonies. And your voice is just so powerful. And somehow at the same time, you, you have so much control. And and discipline, and uh, and as a singer, it makes me want to go home and practice, or just quit altogether. I'm just gonna, I'm done. Uh, Mark, I'm gonna go and to school for be a to be a uh, to be an accountant or something at yeah. this point. I think that would yeah carpenter right yeah I'll just They've go. If, if I can in any way tell you how I feel about singers <laughs> is that my favorite singers that I've ever known in you know the. 38 years I've been on this planet were close friends of mine in high school that were tone deaf. They were so tone deaf, but they didn't care. And they sang to every song anyway. I could cry talking about it. Those are the people that I love. They sing because they love to sing and there's no pressure on that. And I love, I love all voices for many different reasons. And I think everybody should sing forever and always. Couldn't agree with that more. And in public, you know, let's make it 
cuter and crazier out there yeah. by just singing like things to each other constantly. Yeah, that would make the world a better place, I think. Yeah. Could you help me, sir? Reach that top shelf. Are you guys sold out of red lobster biscuits? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so what's your next song? What do you think the next song is going to be? Down by the Sea. Oh. Down by the Sea. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's hear it. Someday Honey here on Live Music Showcase. Get it. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> I waited to see the bow light fade away from me Now on the cloud and I shall see Some looking there for me Shadows can dark in a hilly sea But you can find flowers for me Hey, hey, hey I lift my heart down there the sea He picked it up, dusted it off And returned it back to me Don't be me Castles to knock them down. We live in a place where nobody frowns. Him and me, we have never a care. Pull down the stars with one thread of hair. We drink all the whiskey, we will stain. We build the world with our awful hands. I lift my heart down by the sea. He picked it up, dusted it off, and returned it back to me. Don't be me. Someday, honey, on live music showcase uh, down by the sea. Um, so, how long have you guys been a band? For starters, 2018. In your heart. In your heart. heart. Yeah. For many lifetimes. I think it was 2018, yeah, wasn't it? Right. Yeah. Yeah, we. Yeah. We, uh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, we uh, got together to play some music on Monday nights at Hideaway. Uh, we've all known each other for years. I didn't know Sammy very well yet. Uh, Mark and I had met a few times and Matt and I really didn't know each other that well yet, but we all kind of, they know each other. Mm -hmm. And we went to Hideaway and started doing Monday nights and we were just uh, cutting our teeth on that stage together, learning tunes as we went around. And I keep looking at the engineer instead of you, which is hilarious. It's just what I'm used to. I'm like, hey, man. Okay. Yeah, yeah. When you're, <laughs> when you're in the studio, like, that's your guy, typically. Sorry, yeah. Ken. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm the voice in your head today. All right. So, yeah. But that's I got okay. you. No, but, um, you know, I, so the Hideaway, first of all, uh, you know, heartbreaking that that went away. Um, but I mean, I, I could totally see that. It's so funny how that happens, right? Where you're, you're, you're in a situation where you're with a group of musicians and you get to know each other on stage, you know, and not necessarily like what my favorite color is or what, you know, what your political affiliations are or any of that stuff. You get to know each other from a musical perspective in that you, you learn each other's uh, how do I put it? You you learn each other's decision making process, exactly. like when, especially when it comes to improvisation, yep. right? It's a conversation. It really is. It's a conversation of of looks. It's a conversation of like leaning your your Ideally, guitar neck the out dad a little bit. Is in, encapsulated in the music. Yeah, media. Mm -hmm. but you know, there's other forms of it too, right? 
Yeah. That feeling. That's my favorite way to get to know someone. It's Truly. the quickest way. You can't lie doing that. Yeah. It's impossible. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I met you it's from gigging. You know? Well, I met all my friends from gigging. That's you know? true. Yeah, we met at uh, at Ruby's. Yeah. Right. Uh, from uh, me playing the the happy hour slot and you guys, you and Kirk Adams playing the, uh, yeah. the late night slot. Yeah, yeah. Right. it's a good time there. Knocker, yeah. yeah, it's awesome. Um, so, I mean, you go from essentially jamming together. How do you go from that to being songwriters? Do, do you guys write music together or how does, who does the, where does that start? It's a little bit of everything, you know. Uh, I just write songs all yeah. the time, so I try to bring stuff to the band, and usually it's a it's a husk of a work, you know. Sure. And then you know they put the uh, they put the corn cob in it, you know. Or the uh, muscular tissue, right? You're like a skeletal structure, <laughs> right? Right. Yeah. So things go through changes. I mean, I even brought a song that I had on a previous record to the Hideaway with these guys, and we started messing around with it live, and they were learning it on the spot, and it became. Not something completely different, but something much better. Nice. You know, so we've, you know, just, we throw stuff in there and uh, we see what happens, but it's, uh, there's a, a lot of equal effort here. Love that. I love that. So the next song that you're going to play, tell me, tell me about that song. Tell me about how that came about. Skunk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you tell them about you, Skunk Bear. Oh, no, I'm going to have to rearrange my stuff here. What uh, are you guys telling about Skunk Bear? Uh, skunk Bear. It's a menace. I can say that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I actually, before the show started, I was like, Ken, is it okay if I, like, pull some songs out of the set, maybe put it towards the end? I don't want to scare anybody away from listening yeah. to the rest of the show. And it was this song, but we're going to do it anyway. To which I replied, we don't mind scaring people Yeah, this a was bit. Yeah. written during the pandemic. Uh, Matt and I... <laughs> the the husk of this um and uh we had been we'd been awake for a couple of days and this was like written at like seven or eight a.m in the morning uh the best and yeah. worst songs get written after sleep deprivation yep. and or some kind of altered state of consciousness yeah, yeah. i agree yeah I'm a big fan of altered states of consciousness. Well, <laughs> this is definitely our weirdest i think i think it's our weirdest tune i love weird Let's go. And if you're watching right now or you're listening right now, you get weird with us right along with us now. Uh, Someday, honey, here in the live music studio. Uh, in just a little bit, we're going to play. It's not really a game, but we uh, it's a little segment that I like to call AMA, Ask Musicians Anything. Ooh. It's the uh, time where you as the listener can call in or leave an email with your your questions or comments for the band. Uh, we always say the weirder, the better, really. So get weird with it. We do have some comments in the live stream feed already. Uh, let's see. A uh, guy named Workaholic. Looks like Workaholic. Oh, no. Uh, he says, if they're taking requests, which they're not. This is a radio show, not uh, live at Ruby's. But um, maybe they are. I don't know. It's up to you guys. I do love their Lucas Nelson's um, Forget About Georgia. Ooh. Yeah, we forgot about that song, actually. But... <laughs> You don't have to take requests, not, at, not by any chance. And then uh, Eric says, uh, live music with captions to read. Thank you for making live music readable. Awesome. Yeah, that's talking about the, the live stream there. So um, we'll do the uh, AMA here in just a little bit, but uh, let's hear uh, Skunk Bear. Does that mean that I'm not speaking? What's that guy's name? Does that mean I'm not speaking clearly? No, 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 no. No, okay. he was talking about the, the show has live, has, uh, live um, captions. Go. This is Skunk Bear!
the heat of the oven. Baby, he just running from the right kind of love. Baby, he's too hot in the heat of the oven. Oh, yeah. Someday, honey, here on Live Music Showcase. Uh, I love that. Thanks. That was nice. Uh, that was me. I do it at the gigs, too. Yeah. Dude, that's not good. It was but with cool. the masterful miking of this man. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I heard, Very nice. I heard something new uh, within the song because of how awesome the sound is in here. Thank you so much, Mark. Thank you, Ken, for having us. I love it. I love it. I love when that happens, um, when you're playing with a band, and, and then you go, oh, what's that part? And then whoever did that part goes, oh, I don't know. I've been doing that for weeks. <laughs> That's the way it goes. You never listen. Uh, I prefer if you didn't. You know. <laughs> like, I, like, I, like his, I like the guitars down in my mix, please. A little less, a little less, a little less. I can't hear it at all perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Love that. Uh, that does happen from time to time, doesn't it? Especially at jams, you know, exactly. where you get on stage with someone and, and uh, they are not communicating effectively. Compared yes. to the rest of the group, you well, know? you don't have to be on stage. You can, again, be in a grocery store aisle. People just generally don't communicate very effectively. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. And you, you can't turn them down on the language. mix in real life, can you? You can with your mind. That's fair. You can, dude. That's fair. You can just go... Dee! Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Not that I do that ever. <laughs> Not that I do it. Sorry, what were you saying? Yeah, what? <laughs> exactly. I was so transfixed <laughs> by your stare. What I was, uh, was going to say also, Matt, is I'm loving the... <laughs> Mark's a squirrel. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm loving the, um, the like, surf rock vibes that yeah, I'm getting right. with the tremolo. It's a bit of an aesthetic. You know? It's neat. It's something. It's a neat addition. Like, okay, we have an upright bass in here. And, and the surf rock thing, you wouldn't necessarily think those two would go together. They, right. They absolutely. It do. does. I almost does. just cursed just now, Mark, just because of how enthusiastic I was feeling about <laughs> The, the way those two Don't things curse are going me, bro. together. Don't curse me. No, 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 no. Yeah. Dear Lord in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Mea culpa. Um, but, uh, but no, so, uh, so what's the next one going to be? What do you think? I don't know. Free range. Free range? Oh, let's go. The, the, this is a song about poultry. That's my favorite kind of egg. All right. Mm -hmm. And it came first. That's right. Or not at all. You guys don't mind. I have Mark turn Sammy up in the. I love it. The yeah. Drums, if that's all right. Always some more Sam. All right. That beard is it's hard to get through. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you count me in, man? A little bit. One, two, Thank you. Three. He's 
looking through my eyes with his hands on my thighs in a warm and dark corner like an unwanted breeze is this what they Broken heart is heaven on it all. An invitation for uh, objectification, and now we're in a war in dark corners, enduring unwanted breeze. Is this what they mean? Free range, 
Someday Honey, here on Live Music Showcase. All right, it is that time. This is the AMA segment to Ask Musicians Anything. You can call into the studio right now. Our board op, Charlie, will take your call. And any questions or comments that you might have for the show, for the band, for me, for Mark, for Debbie m and I don't know. Mostly we'll try to keep it focused on Someday Honey, though, today. Uh, the phone number is 813-239-9663. That number again is 813-239-WMNF. You can also send an email if you're if you need to be more incognito maybe you're at work or something dj at wmnf.org uh the weirder the better let's get real weird uh in the comments on uh on the live stream right now we've got someone watching from annapolis maryland says come back to visit us (laughs) that's nice tell me when tell me when uh, and then Dave uh, Hine says, watching from Cumbria in England, uh, please can you sing a song on the guitar for me and dedicate it to me? Uh, we just did. There you go, Dave. There you go. Uh, it's done. It's done. It's happened. Uh, you uh, did say to get weird. I'm happy yeah, with yeah. the weird. Yeah. yeah. He have his own song. He goes like, Dave. Yeah. He's asking for Matt Dave. to play, right? Yeah. For you yeah. to dedicate a song to yeah. him. Yeah. Oh, for me specifically. Yeah. yeah. Can oh, you do like really? a seven minute song for, okay. for Dave? Okay. You ready? Using each one of the letters in his, in his name as an acrostic. V is an acrostic. Yeah, where, like where a, each letter means something in specific. So Dave is, you know, D is okay, for so D is diabolical. For a is for, Devilish you know, autonomous. Or, yeah, okay. V is for v is, vivacious, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Well, I think you, it's writing itself. It's writing itself, true. By the end of yeah. it, we'll have a theme for you, Dave. Yeah, Dave, I is for insufferable. I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's me. That's this guy right here. Is there I? David, yeah, David, David. yeah, Mm -hmm. I think so, last I checked. Yeah, in the Bible it says so, I think, anyway. So, uh, what's the the next song you guys want to play? It's called Cool Cool. Cool Cool. Cool Cool. Cool Cool. Cool Cool Cool. Cool 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 Cool. 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 Yes, cool. Everybody cool? Very cool. Everybody cool? Yes, cool. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. This is like, this is a song that came about when I was thinking about the phenomena of how far somebody can make it in this industry by just telling everybody online how good they are. And then when you go to their shows, there's nobody there, but they, but it doesn't matter, mm-hmm. you know? Uh, and that's really cool because I'm not very cool online, so it's taking me a little bit longer, you know? I know exactly how you feel. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that's okay. And um, I still love everybody's hustle in their own way. But for me to um, come to terms with that, I think that that's how we write songs. So, uh I love it. I love it. Let's talk more about it after the song for sure. Because I, I, my whole, my whole brain's like, oh my god, I can talk about this. And this like, no, we don't want to get that. I can relate to that. That's my point. Yeah. And I think many other musicians out there can as well. Are we counting this? One, two, Woo. one, two, three.
of the law suits your Cool, 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 cool. Someday, honey, here on Live Music Showcase. I, uh, yeah, that's, uh, so the cool, cool thing for me, that's, for me, it's always sarcastic. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, you you, you think you're, you're, good? cool, 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 yes, cool, sir. cool, 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 yeah. Um, and to your point, the, uh, the whole, like, um, hollow, what, what, how would we put it? Like the... The, to your point, like the musicians who have like a huge following online, but then they, you know, try to show up and play a show and, and nobody, nobody comes out to that show or. Or they don't come out the second time because it was bad. What? Or they, or they don't come out the second time because it was bad. Right. Yeah. That, because they, they created a, they created a persona online that they can't live up to in reality. Mm-hmm. How often does that happen? Well, you just yeah. got to create a persona for real first. Yeah. You know. Creating a persona sounds like a weird sci-fi thing to do, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's, that's a little, you know. It's like a whole Johnny Mnemonic kind of a thing. Yeah, right. Yeah, kind of wild. But but you're, you, you've are you got a good point there, and it kind of, I think that it speaks to the authenticity that I think is necessary when you are a band, when you are, when you're writing music. Not only is, the, is an authenticity to like who you are as an individual necessary, but there's an authenticity within the music. Right. That it's like, I'm singing this song and you can believe that I believe what I'm singing in this song right. because it means something to me or, or like I'm connected with the music that I'm singing. I'm not just, you know, reading words off well, of a Hopefully sheet. the source yeah. was made of something and then whatever you make out of the source should be made of a substrate of that thing. I agree. So if you have that thing, the song, the art piece should convey that thing to some degree, I would think. I, I have seen, and I've been... I've heard I've been, it done by other bands. 100%. Yeah, I've heard and it. I've heard the it's inverse possible. be done as well, where you start with, you basically sit in a room with three, other, three or four other people that are like, all right, well, we just have to write a song today, so let's just write something. And then right. they, they put something together that is sonically pleasant, right. but is devoid of any deeper meaning or, or reason, right. therefore, to connect. There's no soul. There's no soul in that and song. So people are all freaked out about the AI songwriting, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But... It only should freak you out if you do that kind of songwriting. Well, in which case, go. computers are faster than our brains. Yeah. And we don't need that much thinking to do that. Yeah. You know? uh, I think it's all good, man. Why buck the future? To yeah. summarize, and I agree with you there, yeah. too. You know, whenever a new form of transportation comes around, the people who benefit most from it are those who learn how to drive it right off the bat. Exactly. Because then they get to drive everyone else around. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but to your point, and to kind of summarize it, uh, you know, though if, you shouldn't be worried about AI. If you figured out how to connect with your own music and therefore allow your audience to connect with you that way as well. Well, That'd be nice. At at this point, I think, you know, and maybe, maybe I'm overly idealistic, but I think that music, that you are a conduit between your, your audience and your music, you know, and if you created that music, then, you know, for it to flow through you, it has to have, there has to be something. And very little of that has anything to do with ownership of that thought. 100%. 100%. You are a conduit. You know, yeah. d- mm-hmm. is the chord playing the guitar right now? Right. No, it's just, a, it's a conduit. Yeah. You know? And it's a good conduit. And, yeah, you it know, does its job it way better to than be humans good do. <laughs> to make that connection. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, about more about uh, guitar electronics after this next song <laughs> exactly. uh, coming up here. But if you're just joining us, we are here in studio with Someday Honey on Live Music Showcase. We are here in the studio every week at 2 p.m., on WMNF, uh, 88.5 FM, WMNF.org, uh, and live streaming on Facebook and YouTube right now. If you want to see the live stream and you haven't joined us yet, we've got a bunch of people in the live stream right now. 
You can find it on Facebook, WMNF's Live Music Showcase on Facebook. And on YouTube, just search WMNF and you will find it. We've got so many nice people in the comments. Uh, let's see. Uh, Michael says, really cool. Mackenzie says, cool, cool. Chef's kiss. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mac. Yep. Uh, very, uh, let's see. Killing it. Mackenzie says, killing it. Uh, yeah, that's great. Solid. You guys sound great. You look great. You're crushing it. I love the upright bass. Thank you. Thank um, you. If you can't tell, like if you're listening, you're like, what's that? What's that unique sound? It's a it's, it's a, a six foot tall bass oh. <laughs> instrument. That's what it is. It's, exactly. Yeah. There's nothing like it. It's phenomenal. Nothing like it. Uh, so what's the next song called? Gnomes. Gnomes. Mm -hmm. Like garden gnomes? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, n not in the garden. Just not anywhere. In the, yeah. yeah. Gnomes in general. Yeah. <laughs> See, I can hear myself <laughs> no, back here. Really you know, yeah. <laughs> it's like I've never done this before. <laughs> <laughs> you sound great. I feel like I'm in a living room. I forget about like the the listeners. My apologies. I'll take that as a compliment. Frankly, you should. I feel very if comfortable you're relaxed. Here. Good. Uh, I, 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 much appreciated. Thank you so much. My, my my main functions on this show are to make the bands feel comfortable and welcome and say goofy stuff uh, when things go wrong. <laughs> to stall, You basically. did a great job today, and you did a great job right off the bat by showing up just slightly later than we did. I was like, man, we're good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, hey, you know, uh, sometimes <laughs> traffic has other plans. It you was know? raining yeah. bad. I'm glad everybody made it here mm -hmm. safe. I am too. Thank you. That's a very nice thing for you to say. Yeah. After this song, uh, we will dive into some of the AMA questions and comments that I'm sure have been coming through. Ooh, make them weird. And like I said, yeah, make them weird. Absolutely. Let's get weird, people. Someday Honey here on Live Music Showcase. Not my... Somebody count it. I'll do it if you want. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Well, I've had a 
I'll save you. Sing the forest gnomes because that's where, where my dreams come true. Someday, honey, gnomes. That's amazing. That was um, that was stunning. Kaylee, Kaylee Baker on the vocals. For those who who don't know, somehow if you don't know, that's amazing. Um, you, um, anyone who watches the show or listens to the show uh, for any duration of time knows that I'm 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 also a singer. I, I, I do that for a living. I play in bars and restaurants and whatnot. Uh, I'll say it again, just to make sure it's really clear. When you're a singer. Uh, one of the things that a lot of singers don't fully figure out, maybe ever, um, is, is that pitch, while it's extremely important, it gets your foot in the door, it's not necessarily the most important thing. They're all kind of evenly balanced in there, your pitch, your tone, all of these things. Your ability to sound like your, your voice has this incredible reckless abandon to it, and yet you're perfectly on pitch constantly. <laughs> How the hell do you do that? <laughs> it's because I live my entire life with reckless abandon. I love it. And I, love I, it. I, I, I suffer because of it, but it's okay because it, it, it's what I'm supposed to do. Well, there you go. Forest, Kaylee Baker. That's integrity right yeah. there. Mm-hmm. That's integrity. All right. So we're going to wrap up the show here real quick. Uh, first, credit where credit is, is due. This show takes an entire team of people behind the scenes working hard. To make sure that it sounds and looks as good as it does. Dedicated volunteers. That's how this uh, show and this station operate. Um, 
sound mixer Mark Perfetti, audio assistant Hi. Pam Robinson, video director is uh, Stephanie Fugelberg. Our camera operators are Charles Holsoppel and Lisa Reuter. Our board op is Charlie Cushing, taking your calls and your emails, sending them to me so that I get to share them with the band right now. And we do have a few of those right now from the AMA. Uh, first and foremost, this chick sounds like Getty Lee from Rush. That's yeah, from Daniel. Right. I like that. I don't hate that. That's yeah. not terrible. Uh, Lordy, you sound great. That's another listener comment. Uh, wow, I want to play harp to this song. Super vocal superior. That's from Jack. Uh, let's see. A listener comment. Thanks for bringing them to our attention. The upright bass is my favorite instrument. It sounds great in the band. Uh, great voice. We have a few from the comments as well uh, in the live stream. And what I'll do is we'll get to those. Um, after this next song. So the way it works is radio broadcasts, you know, they end exactly when they end. And this next song is going to take us out of the radio broadcast. But fear not, if you're listening to the radio broadcast, you can jump into the live stream and get the entire song right now. And then after the song, we'll go through a couple more of the comments that are coming through in the live stream. So if you're listening, thanks so much for listening. Thanks so much for watching. If you're just listening, you're not watching, jump into the live stream so you can keep up with the rest of the show. And if you're listening to the, the uh, radio broadcast, we'll see you next week. Thanks a lot. I'm Ken Apperson. This is Live Music Showcase. What is the last song? Uh, this song is a brand new song called Tan Lines. Uh, am I allowed to plug a show we have coming up? Sure, yeah. Just Listen, don't uh, mention I, prices. I won't. Yeah. I, read, I read the email four times. Bingo. Yes. Uh, love we're that. We're going to be at the Palladium on uh, July 27th at the uh, side door. Come out and hear the rest of this song. It's called Tan Lines, y'all. Love it. The sun's always shining I left my friend for Who I'm still patting There's perfect laughter In the salt of her stay The sweet silver lining And the smell of her This is WMNF in Tampa.